On Saturday, the presidency of Donald Trump passed the 100-day mark, meaning this prank has officially gone on for way too long. <laughs> With the Donald unable to get much of his agenda through Congress, he's fallen back on what he does best, bullshitting about how great he is. <laughs> he's the best, just ask him. In fact, though the next presidential election is still three and a half years away, his 2020 campaign is spending $1.5 million to run this ad touting his accomplishments. Donald Trump, sworn in as president 100 days ago, America has rarely seen such success. A respected Supreme Court justice confirmed. Companies investing in American jobs again. <laughs> doesn't that, that sounds like the action news guy voice, doesn't it? <laughs> it wasn't the only newsworthy piece of video about the 100-day milestone, and yet another instance of the most overreported political story of the year. ABC went to the Midwest to check in with working class voters. If you had to give a grade, what would it be? Um, I think I would give him a B plus. B plus. Yeah. Why is that? Just that twittering. The tweets <laughs> bother you. Well, I don't really read them, so. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before Trump responds on Twitter. Hey, old bag in a diner who gives me a B plus, I give your dumb sweater an F, Titanic lady. <laughs> yeah, you should have followed that necklace down to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I'm still tweeting. I'm run out of characters. Uh, <laughs> comedians, what grade would you give President Trump on his first 100 days? Pardis. Well, they grade restaurants A to D, so I'd have to give Trump Chipotle. All right, points. <laughs> Anna Marie. A, he is sort of skating by on Obama's accomplishments anyway. All right, <laughs> any points on that? Gina. Uh, what's the grade you'd give dog meat? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this presidency's been nothing but lips and assholes. All right, all right, <laughs> boys. Boys. <laughs>